We are currently sat on a boat about to take these sheets of metal over the river to hopefully at the end give them to a family so that they can start to rebuild their home. I'm Eyal Booker and I'm here in the Philippines with World Vision. I've been here to see World Vision's emergency response. Hello, hi, Magangdan Hapon. I meet some of the families they've been helping. Ah, me too. Typhoon Mungha ripped through the north of the country, killing dozens of people, destroying homes. If you look here, everything from the brick up was destroyed. It was completely just wiped away. I got the, oh, this is good. I like this. World Vision provides shelter repair kits which are distributed to families whose homes were destroyed during the typhoon. Whoa, it's heavier than it looks. <laughs> Communities come together to help each other rebuild their homes. So that's what I'm here to do is to show that it's, the money is going somewhere. Everyone helps each other rebuild the community. It's pretty cool just to be here and take part and watch everyone learn how to build a house. I've learned a new skill. <laughs> the typhoon also destroyed up to 80% of the area's crops, mainly rice and corn. Yeah, you taught me. World Vision is working with farmers, providing them with seeds to help them get back on their feet. It means they can feed their families, send their children to school, and get their livelihood back. I don't know who's having more of a rest, me or the buffalo right now. It's been absolutely incredible seeing firsthand the impact that World Vision has had on children and their families. I've loved seeing communities come together to help each other and seeing families recover from the trauma that the typhoon brought to this area. The impact of everyone coming together and doing a little bit really does make a huge difference. Donating just five or ten pounds today would help so many people. Or even better, you could set up a monthly donation of ten pounds that will help World Vision reach even more people in crisis. I've seen people have real hope for the future, which I will never forget.